Hi, I'm John O'Hara, and for my report topic, I'm doing superstitions on the film Friday the 13th. To give you some more background information on what a superstition is, um, it is uh, any belief or behavior linked to fate or magic, uh, supernatural influence or fear of the unknown that is regarded to like irrational thinking or thoughts. And it refers to uh, beliefs and uh, practices related to luck, astrology, fortune telling, spirits, and other uh, paranormal phenomena. Uh, the belief that future occurrences can be predicted by specific um, unrelated uh, prior events. That's where the irrational thoughts come in, saying like, oh, because this happened, it's going to happen to me again. I've seen a lot of it happen with like relationships. People get damaged, stuff like that, and uh, they're superstitious about, like, oh, all relationships are bad and all people are bad. But um, that's just uh, what I've seen in people, and uh, for my example. But to get back on topic, uh, many people believe that Friday the 13th uh, brings bad luck. Like walking under a ladder, uh, crossing paths with a black cat, or uh, even shattering a mirror. Um, negative superstitions have... Uh, revolved around the, the number 13 for ages now and however it's unclear when this particular practice like arose but um, to go more to dive more deep into it uh, the biblical uh, significance is that the Christian uh, culture uh, so 13 people attended the Last Supper and it included Jesus and his 12 uh, apostles so our disciples you would say um, Jesus was uh, crucified the next day. So uh, having uh, 13 guests uh, at the table is kind of a, say, now seen as a bad omen, and meaning like death was coming. Um, this information was from an article from history.com. Um, so my question was, how can anything about superstitions be proved? Uh, what is in debate about Friday the 13th superstitions? So, uh, my hypothesis um, is uh, if someone is superstitious and then they will likely experience anxiety in, in regards to the outcome of an event, specifically Friday the 13th, and so they will fear the uh, Friday the 13th. Uh, so, to move on to my next topic of talk, I'm going to talk about trichotophobia. It's uh, trichotophobia is or uh, also known as fear of the number 13, it doesn't really fall into any clinical uh, description or like particular phobia. So according to Trisketophobia or fear of the 13th by Lisa Fisher, it was also medically reviewed by Daniel B. Block. Uh, the number 13 uh, is neither a thing nor a condition um, in the sufferer uh, they uh, may have to find like, it might be like impossible to ignore, say like an OCD kind of thing. But furthermore, the phobia must have a considerable influence like on the sufferer, so say person's life, in order to be uh, diagnosed. So the majority of people who suffer from this phobia discover that they dread uh, specific days that occur, like settings, uh, and does not like adversely affect their life. So, however, this relates to my hypothesis as it could uh, cause anxiety uh, over this uh, simple superstition. So, trichotophobia is an age-old and widespread fear, regardless if it's a scientific classification, because the number 13 appears in many biblical uh, narratives, uh, just as we were talking back by history.com. Um, it's frequently associated with early Christians at the Last Supper. As we were saying, there was 13 people present, and Jesus and his 12 apostles. Some think, uh, to go more on about this, uh, some think uh, Judas uh, the betrayer. Uh, he was like the 13th person to sit at the table. This could be a root um, to the legend, and it says that uh, 13 people eat together. Uh, one of them will die within a year. So, um, the Bible 
on the other hand, uses the number 13 in positive light. Uh, for example, uh, one of the books uh, speaks of God's 13 qualities. Therefore, this comparison is uh, baseless, despite in the fact uh, that um, it's frequently made. Um, so talking about all this positive things about uh, the number 13th, it just shows how it can help support my hypothesis on how this superstition can cause anxiety. Because as seen here that uh, 13 can be used as a good thing. But people who are superstitious and like very spiritual um, can make 13 into bad and uh, cause much anxiety with the number 13. And so moving on from that, uh, I had a scholarly article. It's called The Value of Superstitions, and it's by Terrace Chong. And it is also a journal of ep economic psychology. Um, so superstitions or beliefs are not based on reason or understanding and have existed since the beginning of time. So while some older ones have faded away, new ones continue to emerge. I feel like new superstitions are happening everywhere, all around the corner. I uh, just, you just hear all new ones, all new phobias, everything. So like Friday the 13th, Black Cats, and the Evil Eye, all of those, those can just not name a couple of them. Um, they are all people who consider, like, they, they <laughs> help people, like, make their decisions. I feel like superstitions just, uh, like, uh, run people's lives. Sometimes it gets that crazy. To go, uh more into superstitions uh to give a great example is saying god bless you so uh that is a superstition um so thinking you need to say god bless you after someone sneezes every time uh is indeed a superstition like uh so saying instead of like demonstrating courtesy uh, after someone sneezes it like stems like from a superstition so um, because, uh, superstitions have the ability to influence behavior, and, uh, a resource allocation, uh, would be influenced by them. So, in a way, as a result in all of these, uh, superstitions, they're kind of worth, worth money. So, there's a study that it calculates, like, the worth of some superstitions, which is kind of funny to me. But, uh, they also look, uh, at whether, uh, well, being irrational uh, superstitions value, it might like adapt to changes in ways that are consistent with economic perception. So I wanted to know more uh, about the psychological stuff for um, to help support my hypothesis, to help uh, find it true with anxiety. So I looked up and I found an article that's called uh, How Do Superstitions Affect Our Psychology and Well-Being? So, uh, speaking off in some kind of business, like, uh, not only do airlines and, like, airports, like, they routinely skip 13th aisle or 13th gate. I did not know that, but that's very interesting. And so, uh, they state that in more than 80% of, uh, like, high-rise buildings over all, all over the world lack 13th floor. That's very interesting. Also, some more information, uh... Hotels and hospitals often choose not to have a room with the number 13. So I think all of this, uh, especially with the hospitals, the airports, a lot of, uh, I would say, the number 13 revolves around death. And uh, also uh, billions of people in the United States uh, and across uh, the world are very suspicious of uh, the number 13th. Uh, a quarter of adults in the U.S. Uh, consider themselves to be so. I thought that was pretty interesting that a quarter of the United States uh, um, was uh, said that they were superstitious that they found in the study. And uh, I think that's crazy to me. Uh, uh, all these recent trends, like, uh, they reveal, uh, younger people are more superstitious than older adults. And I can see how that makes sense. Uh, 
to uh, for the younger people to be more superstitious. There's more things and more knowledge and more things to learn about, like watching the movie Friday the 13th, uh, where like older people, uh, they may not have had that experience back when they were younger, but uh, many uh, people do now as younger. And as stated in uh, How Do Superstitions Affect Our Psychology and Well-Being, uh, they have a fact that 70% of U.S. students rely on good luck charms for better academic performance. Now that's very interesting because uh, a lot of, I have done it too before, uh, like uh, having good luck charms and things for tests and exam, and I think that's very interesting. But uh, I thought this uh, topic was very uh, interesting to uh, what we learned and what we went through. Um, if you have any questions or need me to clarify more, uh, you can uh, reply at the bottom. I think uh, what I went over uh, supports my hypothesis and that all these superstitions can in fact uh, cause anxiety and can kind of uh, control their people's lives. Um, so, yeah, thank you.